it all starts from the mind. I made a video talking about how to buy a property as a young person or something like that. The first thing that you need to master is the mindset. Fuck getting the money. But yeah, I've only got, um, I've got this house here that I'm in uh, Northampton and I've got property in Egypt. That's it. Yeah, so that obviously that's that's realistic, realistic question. If she asked me how many uh, houses do I own? So I've got this one house here and I've got a property in Egypt. But yeah, back to the property thing. It's all in your mindset. It's all in your mindset. There's no way, right, you can think about buying a property if you're thinking about buying Balenciagas, wearing Gucci, driving a Mercedes, when you don't need these things. In order to buy a property, you need to get your prior priorities in order. Until you can master that, you ain't going to be able to buy a property and maintain it. And even if you do, even if you do get a property, you ain't going to maintain it. Even if you are able to maintain it, you're going to be scraping along, scraping. Phoning up your mum, phoning up your dad. Oh, I, I beg you lend me an extra couple hundred pounds because I need to pay this mortgage. Yeah, yeah, stop stunning. Yeah, stop stunning. Do you know when you can stunt? When you've put in the work. That's when you can stunt. When it don't cost you nothing to run a Mercedes. When it don't cost you nothing to wear Gucci. I'm not saying don't buy Gucci and don't buy Balenciaga. Yeah, treat yourself. Treat yourself. That's cool. Yeah, if you want to buy a little Gucci hair, Balenciaga hair, that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, once in a while, whatever, innit? Even once every three, four months, whatever. But don't be every time you get your, your paycheck. Bam. Online store. Nah. That's foolishness. I've got, listen, I've got money. People would never know. People would never know how much money I've got because I don't need to flaunt it. The only thing I do, I might say I've got money. That's it. Other than that, you will never know I've got money like I've got. And that's the reason why. You have to be sensible with your money. Hear about them people who win the lottery and within a year or two, they're broke again. You know why? Because their mind's not in the right place. I could win the lottery. I could win a million pounds, two million, five million. I'm not going to upgrade my lifestyle all of a sudden, no. I know, man, I know people in debt. they got a pay rise. They're in debt, you know, but they've got a pay rise. And now they're talking about, you know, upgrading their lifestyle. What kind of foolishness is that? Bro, if you're in debt, you need to downgrade your lifestyle. So what are the fancy restaurants you go to on the weekend? That needs to stop. Stop that. Downgrade your lifestyle, man. Don't upgrade your lifestyle if you're in debt. There's people in debt, right? They're talking about going on holiday. How are you trying to go on holiday if you're in debt? If you're in debt, you ain't working hard enough because if you were, you wouldn't be in debt. Unless it was like obviously mortgage or something like that. That's a different kind of debt. I know, man, they wanted to go on holiday and They've had to use their credit card to pay for the deposit for the holiday. I said, why didn't you just pay for it in cash? Because I didn't have the money. Well, there you go. If you don't have the money, you are not entitled to a holiday. I don't care if you ain't been on holiday for five years. If you ain't got the money, there's something you are doing. Your money isn't going in the right places if you can't afford to go on holiday. And it's not even about how much you earn. I know, man earn 10 grand a month and they're still broke at the end of the month they're not living within their means i'm not saying you have to be scraping and 
living like you're flipping poor when you're not, but gotta live within your means. I've never been in no debt or nothing like that. The only debt that I would be in is like obviously mortgage debt, whatever. And I don't even call that debt. That's that's a good debt. I'm sure I released that video, good debt versus bad debt. Bad debt is taking out loans and spending money where you're not supposed to. And good debt is like being in, like, you know, taking out a mortgage loan. And then you can use that money to borrow against and buy our next house and that. That's a good debt. Well, I'll never be taking out no money to be splashing out, I'll tell you that right now. There's people who've taken out nice cars and that live beyond their means. And five years later, they're still paying off these debts. And they don't even have the car. So what was the fucking point? They weren't willing to work for those luxuries. They cheated. They didn't want to save up the money to buy the car. They just took out a credit card loan to get the car. And then they had to work for the car afterwards. That don't make no sense. No, you work hard first. And then you spend money on luxuries. You don't treat yourself without putting in the work. That don't even make no sense. Yeah, that's the problem as well. A lot of people, they watch ATO, Jay-Z, Chris Brown, Kim Kardashian, all these people. And yeah, I get it. Yeah, you want to live like them. You want to live their lifestyle. But what work are you putting in? What sacrifice are you making? None. So therefore, you don't deserve to live that type of lifestyle. That's why I made videos talking about people I know who have moved to America. You know why they moved to America? Because they want to live that lifestyle. They think, oh, if I move to America, my life is going to be like this. When I'm really intrigued. They need to realize that there's people in America just like us. Yeah? just living normally, just like us. The same way they, they, we live in London or wherever you're from watching this, it's the same way they're living out there. They must think that, oh, if they move to America, all of a sudden there's going to be a Lamborghini waiting there and there's going to be a jet there and there's a yacht in the sea and then there's a house in the Beverly Hills. People are dumb. I know people who have gone out to America and come back within a year, not achieved a damn thing. Now, if you went out to America for a job opportunity or business, that's cool. If you failed, that's fine. You're going out there for something positive. They're just going out there to go out there. What kind of foolishness is that? But you're only a weak mind would want to, you know, move out to America and try and be like rappers and that. You're a weak mind. You're heavily influenced. I think the best thing for us to do is fucking turn off our TVs, to be fair, you know. Me, I don't even watch TV. I don't, I don't have a TV like that. I've got a TV in my bedroom. It comes on at night time only. And that's for me to just watch one little thing here. And it basically just puts me to sleep. That's it. I don't watch TV throughout the day. I'm too busy. Too busy to be watching TV. If I watch TV, if I spent three, four hours a day watching Netflix, I wouldn't get nothing fucking done. I swear. Yeah, man. Yeah. I will never try and live life or live outside of my means. That's how you end up broke, man. Being a copycat. Mm.